Gary, it's, it's clearly going to be another tough weekend because you've got all manner of challenges to be dealing with. Is it, is it once you get to this stage a real test of character? If you can go into the game and show that character, it can carry you a long way? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, it's not ideal this week, obviously with the the replay, then extra time and penalties. But uh, no, I think you're spot on with character and that. But uh, over the last few years, we've shown that uh, in a number of games as well. So we need to do that again this weekend. Yeah, you tended to do really well in this scenario. It's almost a given for this group of players. And I guess when the squad was put together, something you you look for but if you have a group of players that you can rely on it's such a big thing isn't it because you know there will be moments like this in in any season yeah well you, you just don't know when they come you know uh, injuries and obviously with the replay as well but we just got to be professional about it uh, approach uh, the game the same as we approach any game be really professional and then obviously turn up on uh, Saturday at three o'clock and make sure we put in a performance to give ourselves a chance Presumably really tough for the physio team at the moment, not least because they've got a, a whole load of work on. There's plenty in the in-tray. And also, when you get a game like this, a, a balancing act in that you'll assess the freshness and the fitness of all of the players. But maybe for one or two, you'll have to, to ask them just to, to go the extra mile and get back out there. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the medical department... Uh... I've got their hands full anyway with the you know, the injuries we got, but uh, from Tuesday to Saturday, it'll be mainly about recovery and rest and making sure that uh, we can get the energy right uh, for the performance on Saturday. So uh, yeah, the guys will be doing a lot of hard work in terms of the recovery and rest. It'll make a big difference if you have Lewis Simper and Harrison dunk back into the mix for the weekend. From what Mark was saying, should all be well with Harrison. He was just taking a rest as part of his recovery from his injury. And then with Lewis, a case of assessing him today? Yeah, that's what we would do with both of them today. Um, you know, when they were reporting uh, a bit later on, we'll have a look at them, see where they are. And then uh, hopefully uh, be available for the weekend. And it is a case of everybody needing to pull their weight. You had Seiku Jana and Ben Warman come into the starting eleven on Tuesday. Were you impressed with what they managed to put in and how much of a boost is it if they can then both start making a, a real push for, for starts and being involved more regularly? Well, I think the key is they, they've not played a lot of football recently as well, you know, and then to be asked to, uh, to perform in an FA Cup tie, uh, which is important for the club, I thought both of them uh, gave a good account of themselves. So uh, they'll be in a better place now for the for that game that they've played and the minutes they got into their legs. So uh, as we've touched on already with the injuries we got, we need to co you know call upon them players that are fit and available and uh, they'll be in a better place now for that game. Yeah, because it's, it's literally got so tight that I guess as a management team, it wasn't necessarily where you wanted to be at 90 minutes, having to bring on a defender and take... Jan and more of an attacking player off, but he'd not had the minutes needed to be protected. That was the, the available sub and, and you had to crack on. Well, the conversations we were having were, you know, we have to look after the players that have been limited in terms of game time. And, you know, then players can pick up uh, injuries because they're not 100% fit in terms of match fitness. So we didn't want them to pick up any kind of strains or, or pulls or anything like that. So we've got, got to be careful of that as well. But we have to get them through the game, so you know we have as many fit players available for selection. And it may well be another game at the weekend where you need fans to be patient and show that understanding. It would obviously be great if you could roll out there. And to be fair, a lot of good stuff against Bolton that you can apply to the game on Saturday. But given where you're at, and also with, with Accrington as well, it, it might be one that, that needs a bit of patience. Yeah, it probably will do. Um, you know, it's an important game. There's, you know, three points at stake on the back of having to play that cup tie, that replay. So, yeah, patience would be a key for, for all parties, really, because, yeah, we'd like to start the game really, really well and get a lead and stuff like that. But it might not pan out that way. So patience will be key in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, getting the goal and getting an early goal as well can make a, a huge difference. And I suppose we're talking about confidence again in that if you can get that goal, it's amazing how quickly things can change, isn't it? And the confidence flows back in. Oh, yeah, you know, 
it goes quite quickly as well at the same time. So, uh, but I think in the last three league games, we've performed reasonably well in them league games. You know, and in between them, we've had the the two cup games, which you know we wanted to do better in. But at the end of the day, we got through and we're in the next round. So, uh, you know, we need to make sure that we're we're ready to go Saturday. So, I've touched on that already, and it's uh, the recovery is going to be key because we need to make sure that we're, we're full of energy going into the game Saturday because Accrington play that way. They are full of energy in their side. They've had the, the free week as such, so uh, they'll be prepared um, and I'm sure they'll be ready to go. And given where we're at fitness-wise, is it a case of you do the, do the prep and the assessment for the opposition, but really training time, it all gets focused on the recovery and the the physical aspect, making sure the players are in the best possible place ahead of the kickoff. Yeah, the physical side is key to it, but we'll prepare for the game as we prepare any game. You know, we'll do the same things uh, and make sure that we're ready once we turn up uh, on match day. So, uh, but we'll we'll be ready, we'll be prepared, um, and I'm sure the players away from the club will, will have looked after themselves as well because that's just as important as the recovery sessions that they get when they're at the club. So uh, I'm sure three o'clock Saturday we'll be ready to go. Yeah, and you've had a, a run of games where you've had clean sheets, look solid as well, OK, perhaps against Curzon Ashton. I don't know, you could discuss the merits of that, but to have that platform, Mark was talking about it on Tuesday night, particularly when you're up against it, it's a, a good place to start. Well, it's a, it's a good base, you know, to start picking up points and, uh, you know, clean sheets are very important as well for the confidence side of it. But uh, you also have to, you know, score one or two goals as well at the same time. So it's, it's trying to get that balance where we're nice and solid and, you know, give, us, give ourselves a base to work to, to go and get a win. So uh, at the same time, we have to be more, uh, I don't know, productive um, in terms of goals. So... Uh, I'm, I'm sure that will uh, balance itself out over the course of the year, but uh, you get one area right and then you have to work on the other area of the team. So uh, that's the way it is. Brilliant. Thanks, Gary. That's good from me. Thank you. Hi, right, Gary. What do you um, make of Agnton as a side? Uh, I've touched on it already. They're, um, they've got full of energy in their side. You know, they're uh, very hard working. It, it will be a difficult, difficult game, which, you know, they all are, and uh, more so at this level as well. So uh, it's an important game for both for both clubs as well. You know, everybody will want to pick up three points, um, but they've had the full week to prepare for it as well. So uh, I'm sure they'll be ready uh, and ready to go for the weekend. But well organised, you know, experienced managers, experienced backroom staff as well. So uh, they'll know what to expect from us. But um, yeah, difficult game coming up. What have you made of your side's run of results over the last month or so? Who hours? Yeah. Uh, as I've, I've already said, that uh, I think the last three league games we've performed really well in. The cup games we, we would want to have done better in terms of perfor uh, performance and that. Could have done without the replay in the extra time, but at the end of the day, it's the FA Cup, we're through uh, into the next round. So, uh, yeah, we're always looking to do better and uh, improve. So uh, we'll have an opportunity this weekend against Accrington, which is a tough, tough opponent. Injury-wise, did everyone come through Tuesday OK? Yeah, yeah, everybody come through that, but um, tired legs and recovery is going to be key. I think you had eight players missing from Tuesday night. Obviously, Harrison was rested, but the other seven injured. Why, why do you think you have had so many injuries of like? Um, well, I think you, uh, during any course of the season you pick up injuries and unfortunately for us some of the injuries we've got are long term uh, some of them can't be helped or none of the injuries can be helped you, uh, the longer term ones are you know, been difficult for, for the players and for us but it's part and parcel of uh, professional football and the game we have to deal with it, it gives opportunity for other players that are on the on the fringes for one of a, a better way of putting it. So then players have to take that opportunity. Some of the younger players are coming to the group as well. Gives them an opportunity to see how it works and for their development, it'll be important for them. And on the goal scoring side of things, what have you made of this recent run that you've had? 
Uh, yeah, we'd like to score more goals. We want to create more for the for the forward players, but we've got players in the team that can score. So um, it's not just looking at the forwards. It's a case of you know set plays uh, will be important for us. Players in midfield and obviously uh, your strikers. So, uh, but we've kept clean sheets. So you know, as, as I've said there already, you get one end right, and then you have to work on the other end. So. We'll probably uh, win a game 6-5 and then we'll have to revert back to keeping clean sheets. <laughs> I look forward to that that <laughs> Saturday. Me too. <laughs> how, do you, um, how do you go about scoring, uh, getting back to, to scoring more goals as a team, do you think? How do we get back to that? Yeah. Just creating chances, being, being ourselves, putting the uh, opponents under a pressure in their defending third or attacking third uh, and we'll do that but uh, you know the hardest thing out of all is scoring goals and uh, it's it's difficult so we have to be creative we'll have to make sure that we have players on the pitch that will create opportunities for our uh, for, for the yeah, forwards in our team.